Oh my god. Hey pandas! Welcome back to my Not So Berry with a Twist challenge. As always, all the original Not So Berry rules and the twist rules will be in the description box below. The twist being that we're adding more, we're adding all the expat gameplay into the different generations, hence why we are trying to solve Strangerville. A current playlist will also be in the description box below, so make sure you like and subscribe and check that out. <gasps> In our last episode, we continued on with our Strangerville aspiration. I think we're two of four now for the, our last aspiration for this challenge. And our little, our little Zim aged up. Zim is such a mood with his outfits. I love him so much. He's of course purple and he's just absolutely adorable. He's just moods. I don't know. I just, I just love the way that he turned out. I just matched his outfits for his, his alien form and his human form. But in today's episode, in, I think it's going to be Harvest Fest. So I was taking pictures. That's why there's the cameras everywhere. Uh, but I did, look, look, I got a picture of the kids. Look how cute they are. It's really hard to find poses for five. <laughs> Um, but then we also got their pictures here on the wall. They're adorable. Of course, we will change them as they age up, but I just, I love it. So cute. Oh my gosh, I can't believe there's five of them. That's crazy. I changed this room down here. I kind of changed it to rooms, like little crafting areas, since her room is pretty small and she wasn't able to have anything. Skill building wise, like actually in her bedroom, I kind of just made this like a little crafting corner. I think it turned out really cute. I also did some arrangements to their bedrooms too. Let me show you. So here's Zim's room, of course, still purple. And oh, I didn't give him. I thought I gave him a computer and a chair. I'm really confused. I thought I gave him a computer and a chair. That's weird. And then here is the boys' room, the triplets. Oh, I, oh, okay. I know I put a computer and a chair here. So that's weird. They just disappeared. Huh. That's strange. I put a computer and chair in all of their rooms so that way they could do homework. That's weird. And then like, I kind of saw it like poof for a second. That's weird. I need to, I guess, give them more table and chairs. Okay, let's see if they stay now. There's table and chairs now where they're supposed to be. <laughs> But yeah, here's the boys' room. They all have an area where they could do their homework. They could play some video games. I thought it turned out really cute. I like it. Ah, <laughs> all the kids doing homework. They're so cute. Oh my god, I love them all. Look at this chaos. Oh my gosh, Brandon, this is your chaos. Where is Brandon and Mindy? Oh my gosh, you two, are you serious? Your kids are right over there and you guys are wooing in the hot tub. <sighs> at least we got paid for it. I mean, I guess at least they're all in the house. They have like, no idea it's even happening. I guess that's a good thing. When I click on the other kids as Mindy, it says adopt as care dependent. I wanna do that for all the kids or all the boys. Can I do that? Okay, Phoenix, I need to adopt you as a care dependent too. Stop it. Stop doing... He's such a good little bean. Look at him doing laundry. But if I look at her genealogy, it doesn't show me as like having them as adopted, which is really kind of sad. It shows Brandon have them all though. Well, that's interesting. So if I look at the boys' genealogy, it just goes back to uh, Brandon and then Mindy being the stepmother. But if I look at Zim's genealogy, it actually has the senior Polynesian as his mom. You think it's because these guys didn't get like the alien DNA passed down from her? Interesting. This is such an interesting family tree so far. <laughs> Look at him go! There you go, buddy! Dang, look at those abs. Go, bud! He's gonna be absolutely ripped as a teenager. He's gonna live forever. Oh my gosh, this is so cute! Oh my gosh, I had- oh, I had them. I got it, I got the screenshot. They were all sitting down, you saw it. All of them sitting. Ah, oh, these two are so cute. They were all sitting, even the cat was sitting. It was perfect. That never happens. That never happens. Even with wedding stories, it doesn't happen. It's a lie. Making dinner for all these kids. Made pizza for everybody. Let's see if they'll all come and get it now. Everybody come get some pizza. Look at them all just get up and come over. It's so cute. Come get the pizza, guys. 
Oh my god, I love it! Yes! Eat up, eat up, eat up them, get some! Oh no, Rusty, get the last piece! Oh man, I have to make so much food just to feed the family. No, no, sit! No, Jasper! Ay. <sighs> oh well. Look at these boys! I noticed that Zim has, like, vampire teeth as an alien too, and I didn't change it because I thought it was kind of cute. <laughs> He's got vampire teeth! Oh. oh no, are you two gonna get into some shenanigans together? Oh no, you're not feeling good, my dude. You don't look very good, my dude. Is it bedtime? Might be bedtime. Okay, we're having a problem. Jasper, you're supposed to be in this bed. Wait a minute. Okay, all the kids are in the wrong beds. Even though I assigned their beds to them, or at least I thought I did. Let's see if we can arrange all the boys to get into their proper beds. You guys are all in the wrong beds. Switch, switch, switch. <laughs> Looks like all the beds are actually working, except for maybe Rusty's bed, because Rusty's not getting up here to go to bed. Come on, Rusty, get out of the pool. Why does everybody go to the pool instead of going to bed? Like, see, he's gonna go back float. No, go to bed. Do not back float. <laughs> sleep, sleep. Okay, all the beds look like they're actually working. Oh, gross. Yay! Okay, good. All the beds work and everybody is sleeping. Yay, us! <gasps> Did you guys see that? I'm sitting here on fast forward and look! Scientist guy came in my house. Oh no, Brandon! This is the worst time to do this, Brandon! No, the scientists are here! Don't! Oh no! The scientists just walk in my house downstairs. I saw them. Oh crap. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. How do I get rid of them? Mindy doesn't even know what's happening. She's asleep. This one's in here cleaning my house. Thank you. I mean, thank you. What am I gonna do? Brandon is, um, Brandon is, Brandon's getting ready to wander. Oh my god, don't let them see you, Brandon. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Brandon. God, I think that they just missed him. <gasps> Brandon, hurry, 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 hurry. See, look, they can't see him. There's a wall there. Go, Brandon. Save yourself. Run on your nightly walk, Brandon. Away with you. This is not good. I need to get Mindy up. She needs to wake up and she needs to get rid of you guys. Where'd the other one go? Oh, he's outside. Look at him. He's gonna use my thing. Look at <laughs> That was funny. He's gonna do it again. Why are they going out? That's a weird way to go, but I mean, I guess it works. Okay, Mindy, we have to get rid of these guys. They shouldn't be in our house. Come on, Mindy. Let's get rid of these scientists. Let's go find Brandon. He's wandering the neighborhood. He's... Uh, he's being Brandon. This is gonna be the worst Harvest Fest ever. You in my house again. You're not allowed to have my husband. You're not allowed to have my children. You need to just get out of here. You need to go back to your secret lab. Get out of my house. Where's your sister? Oh, she ran. She's running. Get back here. She's trying to escape. You can't get away from me. You're not allowed to leave my house. Look, she's probably collecting the information from the monitoring device so that way when she gets unfrozen, she can give it back to her bosses. Oh no. They're gonna know everything about Zim. Get out of my house. You and your brother need to get out now and don't come back. Now we gotta find Brandon. Brandon, what are you doing? Oh my God, Brandon. Brandon, come back home, please. Please come home, Brandon. I got rid of the scientists. It's okay. It's safe now. Okay, he came back home. Good. He's just gonna wander wander around the house and stare strangely at things. I guess that's I guess that's okay if he wants to talk to his friend Plant again. That's your best friend, isn't it, Brandon? I mean, I really think that you should be friends with, like, Squishy and, and Eyeball Squishy, but if you want to be friends with the plant, you know, I'm not gonna judge you, buddy. I'm not gonna judge you. I'm sure this is safe. I'm sure there's nothing about this that's not safe. I'm sure this is absolutely in the manual. Pretty sure this is how it's done. Is that a good, is that a good umbrella, Brandon? Do you think he's gonna do this? I mean, he seems to only do this in the middle of the night. So hopefully when we have our friend Thanksgiving tomorrow, he won't do this. <laughs> I feel like all I ever do is laundry. So it's like real life. Hey, Brandon, you doing better? Oh God, this room is so tiny for, for walls up. Feeling better, buddy, since your possession? I'm glad you're feeling better. 
let's go back to bed maybe. Let's see, Zim wants to be a ninja too when he grows up, so we're gonna tell him to practice his hiding. We're gonna ruin these kids. Ah, yeah. Look at Rim doing extra credit homework all by herself. I didn't even tell her to do that. Good job, girl. Good job. You're awesome. Let's see, Rim's gonna ask mom for advice on something. What's wrong, baby girl? Oh my god, you're so cute. A balanced meal. Someone said eating dirt was okay, but someone else said eating dirt may make you die. So is it okay to eat dirt, mom? Well, eating dirt really is kind of unhealthy. If you do kids may tease you, go ahead, eating dirt is fun. I'm gonna say eating dirt is really unhealthy. I mean, it might have some minerals in it, but pretty sure not supposed to do that. She's like, you're right, mom. <laughs> I thought those boys were weird. God, my brothers are strange. She's like, well, they are from another world. Is he setting the table for breakfast? I didn't even know that was like a thing that they could do. Look at him set the table. I didn't even know they could do that. Zim, you are so sweet. Oh my God, that is the sweetest thing. Does that mean they're actually gonna sit and eat? One, two, three, four, five, six. He did just enough places for them. No, he didn't, seven. <laughs> wow, wow, Panda, we can't count. There's seven and there's eight. One for Cosmos, cause he'll be on the table too, you know. Look, Brandon made breakfast. Let's see if we can get everybody down here to eat breakfast and then everybody's gonna go to school and work. And then tomorrow we'll have our friends Thanksgiving. Look, they're all coming to sit at the table. I have no idea, Rusty's still sleeping. Of course Rusty's still sleeping. And now they're all gonna get up and move. No, you guys. What, Ram, why are you sitting on the floor? Mindy, why are you just standing? Eat your food, Mindy. She's dazed again, of course. Mindy, of course you're dazed again. Will you just eat your food, girl? Will you please? People are gonna think you're like a drunk all the time, even though you're really not. You just have a floppy brain. Told you Cosmos was gonna get on the table. Ugh. Brandon, you just had pancakes and now you're gonna eat cake? Oh my gosh, he's gonna get fat. Not smart enough. I've been trying to do my homework in school, but the last few assignments have felt really hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough. What do you think? Oh, it's not that you're not smart enough, Rusty. I don't think that you're applying yourself. I think that you need to get some tutoring from classmates. Come on guys, go to school. Time to go to school. Oh good, at least he changed out of his pajamas to go to school. Come on children, all of you off to school now. Off to school, off to school, off to school. But Oh god, don't get hit by the car! It's fine, it's fine. Off to school, I'm gonna tell them all to like listen to their teacher, whatever. Come on Phoenix, hurry up you little pokey. Clean up the kitchen Mindy, it's an actual disaster and the maid's not gonna do anything. Look at how cute. I didn't make my kids pose in a pool in the middle of winter so I could take a picture. Mm -mm, not me. I would never do that. Why is the mail lady inside my house? Look, whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me, you're delivering my mail, but why are you coming inside my home? What are you doing, mail lady? Are you working for my bosses? Are you planting bugs in my kids' rooms? <gasps> She's probably, pl oh my gosh, she probably just planted a bug in their room, you guys. I think she's working for them. I don't trust anyone. Mindy had a breakthrough while cleaning the kitchen. Eureka! Good job, Mindy. Let's get our mail and see if our hazmat suit's in here. Let's see if we got our breathing thing in here. <gasps> yes, spore filter can be used to modify an incomplete hazmat suit. Question a curio shop owner about the spores. He might have an incomplete hazmat suit to sell. <gasps> That's Irwin. We don't, we don't have to go to work today, right? We could, we could, Call in sick? Yeah, Rowan, what? <coughs> so sick, I don't feel good. Yeah, so laying in bed. Oh, I don't, oh, tummy hurts. Yeah, so echoey. Don't you hear how echoey I am? I, I have that echoey disease again. Yes, okay, they'll never know. I'm sure that they'll understand. We're trying to save the world here. Oh, he's actually here. I didn't think he would be here. Uh, secret inventory. Question about the labs. Okay, hang on, I gotta talk to him first. Strangerville, question about the spores. Erwin, we're trying to save the world from Strangerville so we can all be attacked by killer gnomes tomorrow. I know you understand the plight against the gnomes, so you would understand why we can only have one horrible, deadly plague going on at one time. 
Either gnomes or spores. Which one, buddy? Thanksgiving's tomorrow. Yes, I know it's tomorrow. Thank you, Google Calendar. He has a couple of those hazmat suits in secret inventory, but he doubts it'll be as good without the spore filter. Well, I have it. I have a spore filter, so can I please have it? A thousand? Can't I just kiss your neck too, Erwin? You seem like you would really enjoy that. I mean, I'm down to save a thousand simoleons. Actually, no, never mind. Take the simoleons. Enjoy your brand new incomplete hazmat suit. I told you it was missing a crucial component. You may want to question the scientists about the spores. Okay, well, no, I have it. So. All right, now we have a hazmat suit. Oh my god, Mindy, you look great! So back to the lab we go. Mindy does not look like she's sure about what she's thinking about doing right now. All right, here we are. I think this is an actual terrible idea. Come on, Twinkie Mindy. Let's go. I'm sure this is fine. Dazed as per usual. All right, let's go now that we have our hazmat suit on. We should be able to come in here and use the key card on this door now. Come on, Twinkie, can we do it? Yeah, well, it looks like she's okay. She can travel through this area now. So let's see what's going on in this part of the lab. Is there crazy people in here, I wonder? Probably opening this door is not a good idea. We're just letting more and more spores out. Oh my gosh, it goes down so far. What's in here, Mindy? How do we get in this door? Well, there's definitely spores down here, but I can't like interact with the door. I can interact with this up here though. Oh, I can view it. Okay, how do I open the door up down here though? I don't understand. Oh, she just goes through it. <laughs> I knew that. I knew that. I was just testing you guys to see if you knew that. Ooh, look how gross and creepy it is down here. There's all this like science stuff. They were probably trying to figure out the genetic makeup, the spores, and then it spread and it probably got out and then it infected the people of the lab and they couldn't do anything because they got infected and they turned crazy like Brandon. That one's broken. That one's broken. Oh, so then that's the, the, the oh, so that's the plant gonna change again? Look, it was little and then it looked like that and now it's gonna look like that when we leave? Oh, great, probably because we opened the thing. Okay, this, this doesn't look good. This looks like a, a spleen that they're trying to reactivate with a car battery. I'm sure that's fine. It's totally normal. What are we supposed to do down here? What does it say? Traverse the deepest part of the secret lab. Is that not where I'm at? Am I not in the, Am I not? Oh, I'm not. <gasps> you guys, I'm not. Ooh, I don't know if I want to come down here. Okay, Mindy, stop looking at the spleen and let's go. Let's see what's in this part of the lab. I didn't realize it got even, even deeper. Come on, Twinkie Mindy, let's go. Rowan's never going to believe what we did on our day off. <gasps> oh my god. Oh no. This is horrible. Okay, I don't um, attempt to communicate. I don't think this is a good idea. Hello, strange and weird plants. Oh my God. So there was my husband who decided to maybe consume one of your babies and uh, he didn't mean to but he became completely addicted to them and um, he can't seem to stop eating your children now and every time he eats them he kind of goes a little crazy and runs around the neighborhood at night and I was just wondering if that's you know maybe normal and if we could maybe stop doing that. Okay? Okay. Good talk. You seem like a reasonable tentacle monster. I'm sure we can come to some sort of an agreement on where you can just maybe leave Strangerville alone and maybe just go bother Vlad. Go live with Vlad. It'll be fine. He'll love it. I think it worked. Maybe? Maybe it worked? Maybe it didn't work. I have absolutely no idea what just happened. Okay, so if I go over here to fight Mother Plant with, it says that it requires one to three allies. So of course we need Rowan and Brandon. And we need to use the chemical analysis analyzer, which was in the other room, to construct vaccines. So then we need to then make the vaccines and then recruit people. So maybe, maybe we can, um, we're just gonna, we're just gonna back out of here slowly, okay? And no sudden moves. Um, maybe we can, talk to Rowan and 
um, Brandon about it at our friend's Thanksgiving so we could be like, hey, you know, there's this plant that has infected my husband and we need to go and beat the absolute bejeebas out of it, but we can't do that without your help. Look at it, look at how it's like consumed and taken over the whole base. Do you think that they found the plant? built the base around the plant, kind of like, you know, like Thor's hammer, because they couldn't actually move it. And then as they started to do tests on it, it got angrier and angrier, and then it just like went crazy because they probably gave it something that made it turn all steroidy. Probably gave it like cheese or something, and it really enjoyed it, and it just went nuts. Almost done with making this vaccine, and then we're gonna need to go and find some friends to help us out. Vaccinate three sims. Recruit three sims to help stop the source of the infection and defeat the source of the infection. I wonder if I can only recruit sims that I've cured, but I have to cure Brandon. Experimental vaccine. The experimental vaccine needs to be tested three times before you're able to construct an infection vaccine on the chem- Okay, so I have to go test it, and I think the first person we're gonna go test it on is Brandon. The plants did get bigger. Look, Mindy, look what you did. You released even more spores. <gasps> Mindy, what have you done? Oh my god, this place looks awful. There's plants everywhere. It's okay, we don't live here anymore. Mindy, maybe we can take the hazmat suit off. <sighs> Cute, Russia. Let's find Brandon. Of course, Phoenix is on the treadmill. Brandon, where are you? There you are. <laughs> Okay, hey Brandon, let's... <laughs> Wait, no, I have to be on Mindy, duh. How do I test? Oh, maybe I can't actively test it on him because he's not... Brandon, you are literally the grossest human being. He's not, like, possessed, so I probably can't. I wonder if I can't heal him because he's not infected yet. I mean, I guess I could wait till tonight to see if he does become infected, or we can see if he hasn't- if he's been squirreling away any fruits in his pockets! Aww, they're so cute. Oh, I love it. Okay, you go chat with Crimson. Let's see, Brandon, are you hiding fruits in your pocket? Yes, of course you're hiding fruits in your pocket. Eat the fruit that's in your pocket, Brandon. Don't worry, Mindy will help you. It's for science, Brandon. It's completely for science. He's like, yeah, science. Science rules. I'm sorry, Brandon. Okay. <laughs> Try talking to Brandon. God, I hope this works. I hope I do not just infect him for no reason because poor Brandon. <laughs> okay, babe. I know you're not feeling well, but I mean, remember, we're doing this for science. Yep, I know, I know. Welcome to Strangerville. Oh, there we go. Oh, I slapped him. Woo! <gasps> oh, of course. Wait, did that count? No, I'm so confused. Maybe because he's not a Strangerville um, resident? What? We're gonna leave Brandon. I'm sure he's fine. Oh my gosh, no, stop the infection! You have discovered the source of the infection plaguing Strangerville, an enormous mother plant buried in the base of the lab. The only way to get the town back to normal is by defeating the vile creature. Find a cure for the infection and assemble a team to destroy the mother plants. I'm trying. We're just gonna hang out until we see some infected people. That's the only thing I can think of since it didn't work with Brandon. See, now if I talk to him, it says I can test the experiment on him. So let's try the experiment on this guy. It wouldn't let me do it to Brandon. I wonder if it's just because he's my sim or because we weren't here in Strangerville. Maybe I need to get Brandon back here, infect him again, and then try and cure him. Brandon, you're disgusting. Come on, let's go over here and buy a fruit. Mindy will never know. Erwin's like, man, dude, I don't recommend that fruit, but okay. One more time, Brandon, for science. I'm sorry, Brandon. It's for science, I promise. <laughs> Okay. <gasps> yes, test experiment. Oh, I forgot to see if I could recruit that Ralph guy. Oops. 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 And he's like gone, gone, gone. Dang it. Good job, Mindy. All we care about is Brandon. We need to save Brandon. Brandon's the most important. We're coming to save you, Brandon, because we love you. Here, Brandon, try this. How do you feel? Feel better? 
Did it work? The vaccine seemed to cause some kind of a reaction, but it did not completely isolate the infection. Keep testing on other possessed sims to see how they would react. <gasps> Brandon, I'm sorry. Oh no, I'm sorry, Brandon. I didn't mean to knock you out. Oops, can I try it on him again? Probably not. Yes, I know you're thinking about Darren. We haven't seen him in a while. Okay, well, we're- okay, we're still- he still looks like he's possessed. And I can't do it again, but let's snap him out of it at least. Come on, Brandon. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, never mind. Oh, she liked it. Mindy. Okay, let's see if we can find one more. Is that Rowan? Rowan, what are you doing here? Hi, Rowan. You're not infected, are you? No, but he's super flirty. Rowan, you're so gross! Yeah, you! you oh my god, Rowan! I don't think Rowan's feeling good. I think he has a tummy bug. It's kind of gassy. And kind of silly. Oh, maybe he's drunk. Rowan, you're drunk, aren't you? You're drunk, aren't you, Rowan? You probably should just go home. Matt's probably worried sick about you. You came here after work. Actually, it's during work, so you're ditching work just like me. You ditching work like me today, Rowan? Yeah. Did you call out and pretend you were sick too? Yeah. Naughty boy. Rowan is so drunk. Let's congratulate on his engagement and his upcoming wedding, although I don't think he's gonna remember this conversation at all. He literally came here after work to get some drinks, and he is uh, a couple of drinks he got. He's like, unicorns are real, Mindy! And I'm just like, oh man, I think it's time for you to go. I think it's time for you to go home, Rowan. What? You two are not. I think they were literally about to go woohoo, you guys. Rowan, you really need to go home. You are so, so drunk. Go home, Rowan. Go home. Oh my god, Darren's here! Talking to Brandon, why are you- <gasps> Brandon, why are you here? There's a soldier right there! He's gonna see you! Brandon! Oh my god. Darren's like, yeah, no, this guy's always like this. It's totally normal. I might not know him. He's like, yeah, I, I can't deal with this right now. I, I don't know you. But if you're gonna be like this, I might try and, you know, swoon in on Mindy. Oh god, Brandon. Oh, Brandon, no. You're just being ridiculous. Darren's trying so hard. We're, okay, bye, Darren. Brandon, you should leave too, because this is not a good place for you to be. Although he looks really dazed too. Everybody's drunk, so I guess that's a good thing. Been here for a while, and I haven't seen any new tweaking out people. Okay, we're gonna hang out at this restaurant here for a little bit and see if anybody comes... <laughs> Brandon's drunk. See if anybody comes, like, kind of... Kind of tweaking out a little bit, maybe? Brandon, you finally snapped out of it. What are you doing? Oh. Don't actually go and talk Bizarre. to the plant all by yourself. Boy. Don't nurture it. He's such a gardener. Brandon, why did you do that? Yeah. Oh my god. Now that I'm looking for crazy people, I'm never gonna find one. Do you think, like, if all else fails, I could just give Brandon another fruit and get him infected again and just, like, cure him again? You know, for science. I really don't want to do that though. Look at all the like Strangerville plants everywhere now. Oh, I finally, 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 gosh, I've been here forever and I finally, finally, finally found another sick sim. Okay, let's try and talk to this guy. Come on, Mindy, let's try and, we finally found another sick sim. Now it's not actually counting as me vaccinating them because I haven't actually vaccinated them. So that really kind of stinks. Okay, I think I have to go make another cure. I think we're gonna do that on the next episode, and then we are going to recruit some of our friends to help us to get rid of this mother plant and get rid of all of this horribleness that's going on around Strangerville. <laughs> and of course we're going to try and recruit Brandon and cure Brandon forever because he doesn't deserve all this to be happening to him too. And of course it's happening to him again. Oh, Brandon. I feel so bad for him, but hopefully tomorrow during during Thanksgiving we will be able to help Brandon, we'll be able to help Strangerville, and we'll be able to stop this horrible plague that is going on around Strangerville once and for all. Thanks for tuning in guys, don't forget to watch next time, and don't forget to hug a panda and subscribe today, and I'll catch you guys next time. Happy swimming and bye!